It's up to you. Just realise the 80s are over and you've got to send that outfit back to where it was born. It's that bloody Lindsay. Just look at him all brushed teeth and tallness. Oh, is the heaven gigolo feeling threatened? He's always showing off how nice he is. Just seen him in the studio. He can play seven instruments. Seven. Yeah, he can play all them instruments, but can he sing like you? Well, he says he can't, but then he does backing vocals, and guess what? He sings like an angel. But he hasn't got my epic tone. Thing is, I can feel him causing a rift between me and Vicky. We're drifting apart, like sexual icebergs. Oh. That's how it starts, of course. One moment you're at a picnic and she's dragging you off into the forest to have her way with you, then the next thing, you're in separate bedrooms, wondering if you're her husband or some kind of sex-starved housekeeper. Uh, would you two like some razor blades with your crisps? Ben, you need to cheer up, man. You've made the break. You're a free man. And Gervais, you need to cheer up because it's all in your head, son. And stop slagging off Lindsay. Seems like a lovely bloke. <laughs> Lindsay is set to laugh. The barmaid thought we were a couple. She said she could definitely see us together. I said I felt ugly and pregnant, and Lindsay said that I was glowing and gorgeous, and I said, you never say anything like that to me. And then he said, oh, I can't remember, but it was so funny. Where are the drinks? Oh my God, I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. Lindsay, I forgot the drinks, mental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, he is a bell end. <laughs>